In this video, we're going to look at the first step in creating a Google Meet to use in Google Classroom with your students. So I like to begin inside Google Classroom in the class that I'd like to post the link. And I'm going to go up to the right hand side of the screen and choose the waffle menu. And from there, I'm going to go to Google Meet. Notice there's a little video camera in there to show that this is going to be sound and video. From here, I'm going to click on the plus sign to join or start a meeting. I am doing this ahead of time, and in a future video, I'm going to show you how to post this to your Google Classroom and have it appear about 10 minutes before the meeting starts. Give it a meaningful nickname or leave it blank and one would be generated for you. On this screen, it allows you to adjust your camera. It also gives you, of course, the nickname that you put in for this particular meeting. And from here, we are going to just simply click on join now, even though no one else is here. So this is the important screen right now. This screen contains a link to the live Google Meet. So we're going to highlight that link. We can right click to copy or we can highlight and use control C. We don't need any of the other information at this point. I don't like to confuse my mini Googlers uh, with dial up information, but if that is something that your students and staff could utilize, feel free to just simply kick, click the copy joining info button. I'm going to close this out and I'm going to close out Google Meet. Now I'm back in Google Classroom. And I'm going to keep my classroom organized by creating a topic up at the top to let my students know that's where the link will be and the date and time that it will be happening. So I'm going to go to create and I'm going to go to topic. This is completely optional. I'm going to put morning meeting on March 31st at 11 a.m. Now, in the future, I can simply come back to this topic and click on the menu, the three dots, and they will appear when you hover over the end. Let me show you that. Um, and you can rename it and change out the date and time in the future. So now I'm going to go to create, and I'm just going to put this in as material. So I'm going to give it a meaningful title. Uh, let's see, 331. I can write meaningful directions to the students and I'm going to go to add a link. Remember, we just copied the link from the Google Meet window. We're going to use Control V or right click paste to add the link. The important part here is to make sure that we are not simply clicking post unless you are posting this at the exact time the meeting is set to begin. We don't want students in the Google Meet before it begins and we're not there. Remember, this is live. This web address will always allow students to go into that meetup with or without you at this point until additional updates are rolled out to everyone. So what we're going to do is we're going to have two choices. At this point, we can X out and it will simply show up as gray. I do want to drop this into my morning meeting topic. So I'm going to show you that if I just X out, it will now become gray and when I'm ready, about 10 minutes before the start of the meeting, I could come back into Google Classroom, click on the three dots that appear at the end, hit edit, and simply go to post, which will make it live. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to schedule one so it will appear automatically at the date and time that you set it for.